Hello everyone! Today we will have a new lesson about difference between algorithm and pseudocode. The main difference between algorithm and pseudocode is that an algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure to solve a given problem while a pseudocode is a method of writing an algorithm. An algorithm is a procedure for solving a problem. In other words, it is a sequence of steps to solve a given problem. It cannot contain sequences, iterations, selections, and so on. Usually, there can be several methods to solve a problem. It is important to analyze each solution and select the best approach to solving it. On the other hand, a pseudocode is a method of developing an algorithm. Programmers can use informal simple language to write a pseudocode and there is no strict syntax to follow. It is a text-based detailed design tool. An algorithm is a sequence of steps which is utilized in order to solve a computational problem, whereas said pseudocode is nothing but a simpler form of an algorithm, which involves some part of the natural language to enhance the understandability of the high-level programming constructs or for making it more human-friendly. Computer programming contains an innermost part of generating an ambiguous, sequence-wise procedures for the computer to follow in order to produce particular results. Algorithms are considered to be the foundation of computer programming. So let's proceed to the definition of algorithm. In mathematics and computer science, an algorithm is a finite sequence of well-defined computer implementable instructions, typically to solve a class of problems or to perform a computation. Algorithms are always unambiguous and are used as specifications for performing calculations, data processing, automated reasoning, and other tasks. As an effective method, an algorithm can be expressed within a finite amount of space in time and in a well-defined formal language for calculating a function. Starting from an initial state and initial input, perhaps MT, the instructions describe a computation that, when executed, proceeds through a finite number of well-defined successive states eventually producing output and terminating at the final ending state. The transition from one state to the next is not necessarily deterministic. Some algorithms known as randomized algorithms incorporate random input. Algorithm term was coined by a Persian author Abu Hapar Muhammad bin Musa al-Khwarizmi and holds a special significance in the field of computer science. It is an approach used by a computer for the solution to a problem. More specifically, an algorithm is a definite set of an ambiguous rules or instructions which describes a fixed series of operations that are helpful and providing the solution of a problem or to a particular class of problems for any permissible set of input quantities. Alternately, an algorithm is a series of instructions for executing some step-by-step -step process sequence-wise. It can be explained with an example of a recipe of a dish. So to make that dish, there must be a set of requirements or ingredients in the process of cooking them. In a similar way, an algorithm that a computer runs can be comprised of thousands or millions of small steps like addition, subtraction, multiplication, from lower to higher level of mathematical operations. Algorithms are implemented in each and every field such as a manufacturing process of a product, reservations of an airline, banking services, etc. These algorithms involved in large-scale processes could be intensively complex, however, they are constructed in parts. Also, the meaning of algorithm is systematic logical approach, which is a well-defined step-by-step procedure that allows a computer to solve a problem. There is a certain criterion which an algorithm must satisfy, 
which is described below. First, input. It is an entity which we externally provide to the algorithm. Output. The generated result will be considered as output. Next is the definiteness. Each instruction must be clear and unambiguous. Finiteness. This ensures that the algorithm will terminate after some certain steps. And effectiveness. It must include very simple instructions so that it can be executed by the person manually by only pencil and paper. The operation should be feasible along with definiteness. Another definition of algorithm is used to provide a solution to a particular problem in the form of well-defined steps. Whenever you use a computer to resolve a particular problem, the steps which lead to the solution should be properly communicated to the computer. While executing an algorithm on a computer, several operations such as additions and subtractions are combined to perform more complex mathematical operations. Algorithms can be expressed using natural language, flowcharts, etc. Let's take a look at an example for a better understanding. As a programmer, we are all aware of the linear search program. So this is an example of algorithm of linear search. Here, we can see how the steps of a linear search program are explained in a simple English language. An algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure to solve a problem. A procedure is a finite sequence of instructions, which is carried out in a finite amount of time. Every problem can be solved with the help of an algorithm. For example, when the user wants to log into a Facebook account, first he has to go to facebook.com. Then he has to give the correct username and password. Then he has to click the login button. If the username and password are correct, the user can enter his account. Likewise, every problem has a sequence of steps to solve it. This is also an algorithm because it provides a correct sequence of steps to solve the problem. So this is the another example of the algorithm. This is how to write algorithms. When writing programs, it is important to identify the algorithm for the program. For example, to add two numbers, first some variable is initialized to zero, then two numbers are entered, then the addition is stored to the sum variable. Finally, the sum is printed, that is the algorithm to add two numbers. Now let's talk about the definition of pseudocode. In computer science, pseudocode is a plain language description of the steps in an algorithm or another system. Pseudocode often uses structural conventions of a normal programming language but is intended for human reading rather than machine reading. It typically omits details that are essential for machine understanding of the algorithm such as variable declarations and language-specific code. The programming language is augmented with natural language description details, rec, convenient, or with compact mathematical notation. The purpose of using pseudocode is that it is easier for people to understand than conventional programming language code, and that it is an efficient and environment-independent description of the key principles of an algorithm. Another definition of pseudocode is it is commonly used in textbooks and scientific publications to document algorithms and in planning of software and other algorithms. No broad standard for pseudocode syntax exists. As a program in pseudocode is not an executable program, however, certain limited standards exist such as for academic assessment. Pseudocode resembles skeleton programs which can be compiled without errors. Low charts, dragon charts, and unified modeling language or UML 
charts can be thought of as a graphical alternative to pseudocode, but are more spacious on paper. Languages such as Haggis bridge the gap between pseudocode and code written in programming languages. Pseudocode is the expressive form of the algorithm or a way to describe an algorithm. It is a combination of natural language and high-level programming practices which represent the fundamental concept behind a general implementation of a data structure or algorithm. Another definition is, pseudocode incorporated the natural language when the details are insignificant with the standard programming language constructs to obtain more clarity. However, we cannot execute pseudocode on a computer, but it models the actual programming code along with a similar level of detail. Pseudocode is also a simple version of a programming code in plain English, which uses short phrases to write code for a program before it is implemented in a specific programming language. Pseudocode is also written using some specific words and characters, which are shown below. To begin to comment, double forward slash R, use matching braces, R used to present blocks where a compound statement or set of simple statements can be illustrated as a block and terminated by a semicolon. The body of a procedure constructs a block as well. All the identifiers start with the letter and the data type of the variables are not declared explicitly. An assignment statement is used for the assigning values to the variables. To produce the Boolean values such as true and false, the logical operators n or n not, and the relational operators such as less than, less than or equal to, equal to, greater than or equal to, and greater than are provided. Input and output are presented by read and write instructions, and if and then expressions are used to express a conditional statement. It is one of the methods which can be used to represent an algorithm for a program. It does not have a specific syntax like any of the programming language and thus cannot be executed on a computer. There are several formats which are used to write pseudocodes and most of them take down the structures from languages such as C, Lips, Fortran, and so on. Many time, algorithms are presented using pseudocodes since they can be read and understood by programmers who are familiar with different programming languages. Pseudocode allows you to include several control structures such as while, if, then, else, repeat until, for, and case, which is present in many high-level languages. Take note, pseudocode is not an actual programming language. So here is the sample of pseudocode for linear search. In here, we haven't used any specific programming language, but wrote the steps of a linear search in a simpler form, which can be further modified into a proper program. Pseudocode is an informal way of writing a program. It is not exactly a computer program. It represents the algorithm of the program in a natural language and mathematical notations. Usually, there is no particular code syntax to write a pseudocode. Therefore, there is no strict syntax as a usual programming language. It uses simple English language. So here are the or few are some of the examples of pseudocode. First, pseudocode to add two numbers is as follows. Next example is pseudocode to find the area of a rectangle is as follows. Another example is pseudocode of sequential flow with multiple alternatives is as follows.
Next is to the code to print five numbers is as follows. So now we are going to talk about the key differences between algorithm and pseudocode. So based on the comparison chart, for the comprehensibility, algorithm is quite hard to understand while pseudocode is easy to interpret. As for the uses, algorithm is complicated programming language while pseudocode is a combination of programming language and natural language. As for debugging, algorithm is moderate, while pseudocode is simpler. And as is of construction, algorithm is complex, while pseudocode is easier. An algorithm is a definite, clear sequence-wise procedure to solve a problem. It involves the high-level language bills which cannot be understood by a non-technical person. On the other hand, pseudocode is a more plain and human understandable form of algorithm where natural language is also combined with the high-level programming language constructs. Another key difference between algorithm and pseudocode is that pseudocode is easy to understand and interpret as compared to an algorithm. The algorithm uses high-level constructs, meaning the snippet of code, but the pseudocode involves natural language with high-level programming builds. Pseudocode is easily constructed and debugged relative to the algorithm. So let's have example that add two numbers with user input. So for the algorithm, Step 1, start. Step 2, declare variables num1, num2, and sum. Step 3, read values num1 and num2. Step 4, add num1 and num2 and assign the result to sum. Step 5, display sum. And step 6, stop. While for the pseudocode, it follows. Declare num1 num2, sum as variables. Output, enter two numbers. Step num1 is equal to user answer. Step num2 is equal to user answer. Set sum is equal to num1 plus num2. Output, the sum is, and output will be the sum. So that's all our, for our discussions about difference between algorithm and pseudocode. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.